The 1990s, a decade that offered up some of the worst in the horror genre as the slasher boom of the 80s seemed to be dying off and film studios didn't know what to do next. Thankfully, this decade also managed to get creative and gave us some of the most innovative of the genre as well. So, let's count down the top 10. Hello ladies and gentlemen and movie lovers of all kind and welcome back to the channel. As always, I am your host Brett Murphy and for today's video we are going to be looking at the top 10 horror movies of the 1990s. If you didn't already know, I started up a brand new series that is going to run throughout the entire month of October, wherein each week I will cover the top 10 horror movies of another decade. And we started off last week by covering the top 10 horror movies of the 1980s, so be sure to check that one out as well. And I guess I should reiterate like I did in that previous video, this isn't necessarily the top 10 best horror movies of the 1990s, but instead I approach these videos in the mindset of if I were to introduce 90s horror to someone for the first time, which 10 movies would I recommend? So I guess in that sense, a more appropriate title would be the top 10 essential horror movies of the 1990s. But nevertheless, here we are. The 90s was a very interesting decade for this genre, coming fresh off of the slasher boom from the 1980s, where franchises like Friday the 13th, Halloween, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Child's Play, Texas Chainsaw Massacre dominated the genre. And since audiences seem to be getting a little tired of those types of movies, this decade was tasked with finding something new for audiences to grasp onto. And they didn't always quite stick the landing. So this decade offered up quite the variety, meaning that some of them are the worst horror movies ever made, but also some of the best. So with that being said, let's hop right into things. Number 10, From Dusk Till Dawn. The first time that Tarantino and Rodriguez teamed up on a project before they re-teamed on 2007's Grindhouse Double Feature. Starring George Clooney and Tarantino himself, this film turns from typical criminals on the run to blood-sucking fun faster than you can say the titty twister. Well, wh wh which is the bar they, uh, head into? Despite these two not being the most likable characters, in the sense that they are despicable human beings, the film is filled with many of the duo's trademarks. From Tarantino's quick and witty dialogue to Rodriguez's fast, over-the-top style of filmmaking. Though I would say, don't bother with its sequels. 9. Army of Darkness Ashley Williams goes back to back on the list for both the 80s and the 90s. Sam Raimi's finale to his Evil Dead trilogy is certainly the least frightening, though it certainly still maintains aspects of what made its predecessors so lovable, just in a much more mild and comedic manner. Instead, it ups the goofiness even further, but manages to keep a lid on it, for the most part, between the clever humor and the undeniable charm of lead Bruce Campbell. Although it is not seen as much of a horror compared to the other Evil Dead films, it's still classified as one and a ton of fun to watch. Hail to the king, baby. 8. Ringu the original Japanese version of the 2002 far more popular American remake, The Ring. Though more popular doesn't always mean better, it still has everything you loved about that remake. Cursed videotape, investigative female lead, and a creepy ass demon ghost girl that crawls out of the TV to kill you. But I find this one has more of a eerie down and dirty realistic charm to it, as it was made for far less and thus feels much less Hollywood. If you enjoyed the remake from the early 2000s, I highly recommend this one. And even if you didn't, I feel it's different enough that it may win you over on its premise. 7. Jacob's Ladder The film follows Tim Robbins as Jacob, a Vietnam War vet sent back to normal life after being injured in battle only to find that normality is quickly getting away from him as his severe PTSD begins to cause extreme hallucinations. As the film progresses, these hallucinations begin to become far more graphic, grotesque, and otherworldly. Woven throughout are deeper themes about warfare, redemption, and the human soul. A very trippy and quite shocking film with an ending sure to leave you speechless. 6. Bram Stoker's Dracula An age-old tale reimagined for a new age. A star-studded cast including Gary Oldman as the titular Dracula, Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins, and everybody's favorite, the breathtaking Keanu Reeves. This flick sees Dracula travel to England to seduce a woman he believes to be the reincarnation of his long-lost love. 
filled with its healthy helping of bloodshed, an eerie gothic setting, and some truly incredible makeup and practical effects, which, I might add, nabbed the film one of its three Oscars. It may not be everyone's favorite interpretation of the character, but director Francis Ford Coppola crafted a fresh new tale worthy of the Dracula name. 5. Misery Talk about shack wacky. This Stephen King adaption is one of the best to stem from the author's long line of unforgettable work. Starring the always superb and wildly entertaining Kathy Bates alongside the excellent James Caan, this adaption sees famous author Paul Sheldon saved from a car crash by a superfan Annie Wilkes. As she begins to mend him back to health, not all is as it seems when Annie soon becomes increasingly erratic and even violent. What ensues is an intense game of psychological warfare and extreme torment, which director Rob Reiner perfectly captures with his fantastic directing style, paired with the help of two phenomenal leads who give career highlight performances. 4. Candyman Though its sequels quickly become the typical schlocky slasher films you would likely expect, this original is more of an eerie slow burn with deeper themes Tony Todd gives his career best performance as the character he is best known for playing. With his hypnotic voice, hook for a hand, and mouthful of bees, he brought to life an iconic horror character sure to fuel your nightmares. Even though he is summoned through the corny means of chanting his name five whole ass times in the mirror, when he does appear, the results are sure to be bloody. The story follows grad student Helen, played by the lovely Virginia Madsen, as she attempts to summon the Candyman for her research on urban legends. The results, of course, turn deadly as the Candyman attempts to slash his way into Helen's heart, as things turn almost romantic when he wishes for her to join him in the afterlife. All of these elements, mixed with some gnarly practical effects and a mesmerizing score by Philip Glass, make this one well worth the watch. Hold on there for just a quick second. If you're enjoying the video, don't get stuck in that 86% who are currently watching and not nah, subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right now in order to find more content just like this. I just want to say that it would be a huge help to me and my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And while you're at it, don't forget to ring that little bell icon, that way you can be notified about all of my latest uploads. And now, back to the video. 3. The Blair Witch Project the godfather of the found footage genre. The movie follows three college students as they venture into a Maryland forest to film a documentary about the local Blair Witch legend. A very short, sweet, and low-budget flick that completely shocked audiences to their very core upon release. With many reportedly believing the film to be real and that the teens were actually missing, some so much so that they even went as far as to send gifts and condolences to the parents of the students. Although it didn't immediately kick off the craze of found footage horror films like 2007's Paranormal Activity did, it still pioneered the genre and gave it a direction for those who followed. Maybe not quite as scary as others on this list, it still has one of the most memorable endings of the entire genre. Number 2. The Silence of the Lambs Although it could very possibly be seen more as a mystery thriller over a straight horror, it certainly has far more than enough elements in it to consider it a horror. This one focuses more on the side of real-life horror more than any other on this list. The film follows Clarice Starling, a young FBI cadet tasked with tracking down a notorious serial killer only known as Buffalo Bill, a sadistic maniac who skins his victims. Clarice must seek the help from the brilliant former psychiatrist turned incarcerated cannibalistic serial killer Dr. Hannibal Lecter, played marvelously by Sir Anthony Hopkins in what is likely his most well-known and performed role. What ensues is a series of mind games, nail-biting and deeply unsettling scenes, and some truly disturbing imagery, as well as a deep dive into the twisted mind of demented serial killers. And all of this culminated into five Oscar wins for the film including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Lead Actor and Actress. And coming at number one on today's list is Scream. I mean, what else could it have been? The meta, genre-altering game-changer that is Wes Craven's Scream. A modern slasher that cranks up the humor and self-awareness but doesn't fall flat in the twists, turns, and kills. A year after her mother's murder, high school student Sydney Prescott and her friends are hunted down as a new killer terrorizes their small town using horror movies as a part of some sinister and fatal game. Nev Campbell as Sydney Prescott is easily one of the best final girl slash heroes of the horror genre, practically an icon at this point and a total badass when need be. And alongside her are a cast of lovable characters like Stu and Randy who all quickly begin to turn on one another as things get bloody. 
This fresh new take on the genre set a new standard and had a heavy influence on the genre and all of its releases for years to come. I mean, this movie has iconic written all over it giving us a then brand new and now iconic slasher with Ghostface, one of the best movie openings of all time in general, period, and one of the greatest killer reveals known to the genre. So that is all for today's video, folks. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with my 10 picks to represent the 1990s. And be sure to check back next week for the top 10 horror movies of the 2000s. And be sure to check out the rest of my channel for plenty of Halloween themed content releasing this October. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more content, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that little bell icon. That way you can be notified about all of my latest uploads. And as always, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. And that's a wrap. Hey you, yeah you, if you made it this far, just know I appreciate you, and while you're here, consider hitting that subscribe button.